For a second day, the weather was kind, and despite having more horsepower than the rally leader, David Rogers relished the more open stages in his all-comers machine, and it showed on the leaderboard. With the opening stage downgraded to touring, the Flying Doctor stole a march on Hayden McKenzie through the next two stages to close the gap. To be fair, my, I think my car is in the best shape it's ever been and it's, it's got a bit more technology than this one, so you know, I am fortunate to have that, but uh, today's going well. In production four-wheel drive, it's Rory Calloway in a Subaru STI trailing McKenzie with Andy Oakley third in his new Audi A6. Tim James moved into third in production two-wheel drive behind Eddie Bell and Mike Tubbs, who reckoned crossing the gentle Annie was his own special piece of New Zealand. Steve Kirkpanand and Rob Darrington are playing second fiddle to Rogers in the all-comers category. The only class to experience much change was Classic, where things were thrown into disarray when leader Mark Kirkpanand failed to make his start for the afternoon stages. That put Barry KB into the lead, with Tony Butler next and Dad's Pies guru Eddie Gruton into third. But that wasn't the big news though. The trio making an executive decision to change up their class. Well, we're considering uh, starting a new class called the Fossil class, so that uh, us Fossil guys uh, are going to win the Classic class. Uh, the combination of the age of the car, the driver and the co-driver have to be at, at least 140 years old. So we're smoking and well, I know that Barry is, uh, <laughs> I just make it. Uh, but And on top of that, uh, there are extra points to be received for people who drive an iconic, iconic cars. cars. Yeah. yeah, entry for 50% discount for us fossils would be good. It's a good start. <laughs> That's a good start. And petrol vouchers? And, yeah, yeah, and pie yeah. and coffee vouchers? Yeah, that'd that be would good. be nice. Pie and yeah, coffee. Pie yeah. and coffee. We know someone in the pie business. A dad's pie a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> <laughs> so if you thought Targa was just about racing for sheep stations, the fossils have put pay to that rumour. What the last day of Targa Hawks Bay will bring is anyone's guess.